he's sometimes when he's trying to take the piss out of me, he'll go, oh, Dad, come on. Right. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about the Horses film clip, um, obviously a very iconic Australian song. You know, anytime it comes on at the pub, everyone just kind of loses it and has right. like a really nice moment together. So whereabouts did you shoot the video clip? Uh, in New South Wales at Sandbar. Yeah, I'd never, I'd never heard of it before, but I, I surfed up and down that coast, but near Seal Rocks, but yeah, Sandbar. What time of year was it? Was it like kind of summer and a bit warmer or was it kind of middle of winter and you were freezing? It, it was January 19... 91. It was really hot, obviously, because it was summertime, but we went up, the crew and everyone all um, went up to Foster the day before. I think we started 4.30 a.m. the next day to shoot. But what time did you actually wrap? How long was that day? I actually wrote this down in the diary, 6.15, and then drove to where the helicopter was. They took us back to Sydney and I had the best flight along the coast there, that New South Wales coast. Landed at Mascot and then went to a gig out at St George Leagues Club. I was just burnt from the whole day of shooting, so went on stage and it was just, I felt really shitty, but yeah. <laughs> Straight heat stroke and going into a gig, that's, um, oh, just... that's burning the candle at both ends there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so obviously that's a very long day of shooting, middle of summer, um, that in itself, lots of light as well, which is great. Um, but how many times did you actually have to sing your song on the beach over and over in that heat, in those pants. With the, the jumper tucked in. Yeah, that's that a, little, a very warm yeah. outfit. I, I can remember it probably 10 to 15 times or more, 20. I remember the walkie-talkies, always the communication between the camera and the director and an assistant, and then passed on to me. It just seemed to be endless. The, okay, do that again. Oh, okay. So even with the running through the water, I remember that was really difficult because the, the instructions were coming from the helicopter down to someone who wasn't near me, so they had to yell. But it was amazing. It really was. It was uh, something that I, w I will never forget the whole day. I had a, a question further down of just um, about running through the water and how, how did you manage to not trip over yourself? You're running very quick. Yeah. No, I was an athlete back then. The water was pretty low. It was only oh, half a metre of water. The only thing that got frustrating, as I remember, was that you'd do that run and it would probably be for 20 to 50 metres and then they go get the communication with the helicopter. Okay, but another one, Daryl. Okay, righto. <laughs> You'd almost want so, to get into the Olympics for sprints after that. Oh. So why did you or the directors choose the setting of the beach, um, a place that horses don't normally go? Well, I think they took more the, the storyline of the of the song, which really only has an, an image of a horse. I think they looked at, uh, from what I gather, maybe three or four places, and Sandbar was the one that, I think for Grant Matthews, the, the director of photography, and that he, I think he had in mind somewhere like deserted. And I, I'd never been there before, as I was saying before, but um, a lot of people do ask me, you know, where was it filmed? Was it in New Zealand or somewhere like that? And I go, no, no. Uh, New South Wales, but yeah, it was a very remote place too, considering we got there at, as I said, 4.30 we started and it's like a little caravan, caravan camping area about a kilometre up the road and that's about it and then the beach. Did you have to close the beach, like obviously middle of summer? No, surprisingly. No, no, that is surprising. <laughs> no maybe at that, at, at that time, which was um, mid-January, there was uh, no one there. So who was the woman that sang um, backup vocals in the video as opposed to, to in the song? The girl that um, ended up doing it was Gillian because we, we couldn't use Margaret Ehrlich, but she had to, she was only told a day prior and then tried to lip sync. But she apparently was called Millie Vanilli after that because she, she must have fluffed a couple of them. I've, I've watched it a few times over the years, but I can't see that she's... Uh, buggered it up but I, I thought she did a fantastic job but considering she got landed with it just 24 hours before she started shooting it you know it's like wow okay um and what about the man with the child on the beach where did they come from and what was the kind of inspiration now an in interesting that? about two years ago I got a, a, a message from the child and said on, on message 
or Facebook or something. He said, da 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 da. Just want to explain. My dad was in your film clip, and I was the little baby. <laughs> I was and, the naked uh, kid on the beach. <laughs> oh, and it was quite extraordinary. I thought he would have been, he'd be now maybe 27, 28, something like that. So that was incredible. I never got to meet the father because we were at different sections of the beach. But, yeah, that, that was quite out of the blue, meeting um, the young boy who was now 28. It was quite, quite extraordinary. What was the reasoning behind such a weird kind of establishing shot? Do you know? But I did speak to... Chris Moss yesterday, who was uh, working for CBS and he was involved with the making of the, the video. And he he believes that Grant used that, the bird, sort of a, a bit of morbidity and sort of, because at the end, it becomes so powerful, song with the chorus and so joyful. So I guess he wanted to encompass, encompass this sort of, that part of life. And then at the end, it's like a, a joyful sort of appreciation of life. I've got a son who's 34, Oscar, who he hasn't bagged me too much about it, but he likes, and his friends, they really like the jump. Have you ever found him trying to recreate it? He's sometimes when he's trying to take the piss out of me, he'll go, oh, Dad, come on. <laughs> he towers over me, so it's, uh, I can't do much about it, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know he's, he's, the cop it. <laughs> he's, he's joking about it, but it's interesting. It's very good attention to detail. <laughs> oh, it is. It's lovely. If you could go back and shoot that video all over again, what would you change? I'd, pr I'd probably change. I'd probably change the tucked in jumper. No, I, I wouldn't change anything of it. I mean, I remember when we when we finished it and then we saw it a couple of weeks later. I thought that it looks good, and then I thought, wow, Gillian looks really good. <laughs> and what about if you had the opportunity to film it? in 2020 um how would how would you kind of go about it what kind of direction would you take i guess over the last 10 years i've had the chance to work with client liaison and also the the bag raiders uh of doing a song and in particular we did the horses with client liaison and i actually thought god i wonder what that how this is going to turn out you know sort of and they did a really i think a really good version of the horses in their style of music so, I mean, it can be done there with the music, so I'm sure that would, be, that would be interesting. But then I don't know if you could put it out because people who grew up with it and loved it, they would sort of go, oh, yeah, it's not as good. Or, <laughs> you know, why did you do that? And so, oh. Yeah, I feel like if any band that would be into doing the tucked-in jumper into pants, it would probably be client liaison. So you could probably get them on board with that. <laughs> <laughs> they would. God, they... they <laughs> They dress up so well. It's just, you know, I, I felt like a, a bit of a dag on the stage because I just had jeans and black T-shirt and there they are sort of elaborately dressed. And But it, it was a lot of fun doing that. It really was. Thank you so Having much for spending some time. Oh, my pleasure.